Hey guys, my name is Lucy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by Isabella again. Ooh. You guys have been seeing her a lot on my channel because if you don't know, she's spending Christmas with us so we have lots of time together. You're gonna get sick of me by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm already sick of her and it's only day four. Joking, love you. Today, we thought it would be a good idea to make a video on our headshot experiences. We're both in third year at Erdang, if you guys are new here, and we've just had our headshots done in the last few months. And it's quite a no minefield. No one talks about it as well. Right? Because it's one of those things where how are you supposed to know what to do, what, what to you do. want. Yeah, we didn't know. I feel like this might be a very educational video. <laughs> I feel like I could have done with this video a few months ago. <laughs> so hopefully it will help someone out. If it does, please do smash a big thumbs up to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos of me and probably Isabella as well and without further ado let's get into the video so firstly we thought we'd talk about how we kind of started to look I started mainly with Instagram yeah I don't know about you but also we should probably say that luckily with Erdan we yes. get um, headshots for free in first and second year sadly we did not get them second year because hashtag corona <laughs> so we got our first year headshots with mug photography who is now called Adam Hills photography and he has a kind of deal with Erdan I guess that he comes in and does all of our headshots for us so we're super lucky that to be honest you don't have to get other headshots we yeah. just wanted to because basically long story short summertime got cancelled which is where we usually get our headshots in second year and they got moved to the beginning of third year. But I was in quarantine when the headshots took place and Isabella not in the couldn't get back to the country in time. <laughs> so we actually missed out on them. So we were the only two people kind of sitting with only first year headshots. So that's yeah. one of the main reasons why we got them done because we have changed a lot since first year. For sure. And also just, I think number one rule is you only probably need your headshots in third year. If you're in first, yeah, second don't foundation, bother. there's really no point spending 300 pounds on photos. So yeah, mainly we looked on Instagram and at other people's headshots. Like yeah. if someone got a headshot, we're like, oh, we Ooh, really like that. And we obviously follow a lot of people that we respect and admire from the industry. So who yeah. they got their headshots with, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now we can talk about who we kind of shortlisted. My first person that I looked at was Samuel Black, who Isabella went with, but I'll let her talk about that. I like the look of his stuff because it was quite striking and everyone's headshots that I saw of his looked really great, basically. Then the next person that I looked at was Adam Hills, who is the person that we get our photos with at Erdang. His photos are very classic MT and that is my kind of vibe. So I thought I'd maybe go with that. And also because we know him and we know that he's nice, I thought I'd feel comfortable with him. And I kind of knew what I was getting into because it's a lot of my Money to spend so that was why I considered him as well. I also considered Kim Hardy and I had seen some of his photos on Instagram. One of the guys in our year, Cameron, got his headshots done with him and his looked amazing so I was like oh I'll have a look at that as well. And then my final person that I looked at was Andy Brown Photography who I did end up going with. Yeah I feel like it was one of those things where obviously we've been seeing headshots and photos since foundation and already by third year I was just like okay I've already made up my mind probably in first year that I wanted to be with Samuel and that was probably because all of the people that I looked up to and the people that I yeah. wanted to be like in the industry at that time had photos with Sam Black and it was just one of those things where I was like I'm gonna hop on the train. So you'll find that different schools will kind of gravitate to oh, different photographers yeah, for sure. different years and like, don't feel that you have to follow the pack but also don't be afraid to go with Yeah. Them. So I would say the most common one at Erlang this year has been Samuel Black versus like GSA, GSA Adam a lot, Hills a lot this a year. A lot of them are Adam Hills versus like the previous year it was Sam Black it just and Lane a lot of people went to Andy Brown this year so yeah. honestly like don't be afraid to follow the pack and don't be afraid to stray away from the pack because it literally changes yeah. year on year and also when you're in your musical and everyone has like your pictures out it's kind of nice to stand out yeah and have, a, have different something a bit different yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is definitely nice okay so we're now going to talk about kind of the details of prices etc all that kind of boring stuff obviously depending when you're watching this video it may have changed but this is what it was when we got it done so I went with Sam Black and he's definitely on the pricier end, but honestly, it's so worth it in my view. I felt so comfortable and he was literally the nicest person. He edits them super well. It was just one of those enjoyable experiences. Yeah. I don't actually think I can say one bad thing about him. With him, it's I think a three hour photo shoot time and it's 350 pounds with three photos you choose and then he chooses a fourth one. Yeah, and it was just one of those things where I came and I felt super comfortable and he just first did a couple of test shots to see which 
one was my right angle. He also knows how to direct people if yeah. you need that, which yeah. I think is so good. So I went with Andy Brown, as I said, and it was actually 200 pounds. So it is quite a big price difference. Oh, I have to say 350 is also for students if you're still oh, in drama really? school. I think I believe it's 400. But as you're saying that, I'm gonna check my phone just okay. quickly. So Andy Brown, when I went, he was 200 pounds. His price has actually gone up, and that includes three edited photos. I just checked and I was correct. 350 for students, 400 for normal. Cool. So yeah, did that and then I paid for two extra photos and it's £25 for an extra edit. It sounds like £20 for an extra edit. Something like that. It's usually 20 yeah. to £25 pounds with most photographers. I cannot fault Andy's experience. He was amazing. He made me feel so comfortable. Again, he did test shots at the start to check what my good side was. We got to do so many outfit changes. I think you did as well. Yeah. I think the difference is Andy does lots of different backgrounds where Sam right. Black has one background. So that's Which I as personally well. prefer because I quite like having that signature look. Whereas I kind of wanted different backgrounds yeah. and that's totally just personal preference. preference. Yeah, all in all was a really good experience because I was kind of nervous and he was good at directing as well but not being too like put your arm here, lift your elbow, tilt your head because then you just end up looking really <laughs> awkward and uncomfortable. I did feel really comfortable and relaxed but still with the kind of push of this is what you should do. And I feel like now we should probably say what we did bring. I thought I was basically about to bring a suitcase, but I just I did. lugged it in a <laughs> duffel bag, which I probably should have brought a suitcase. Okay, I think I first went through my closet and shortlisted about 20 tops and yeah. realized it was just not gonna happen. But then I kind of knew deep inside there were three tops that I really wanted to do. So I think I ended up bringing eight to 10 tops. And Sam Black, he does recommend to bring as many tops as you want and he'll tell you what's good. Some fabrics don't really work that well. Anything pattern. Like for example, this is your favorite top and I love it, but it's not right for a headshot because, because it's patterns. Body. Take jumpers, take strappy tops, yeah, take t-shirts, all variations. And also I think it was good to bring jacket options, which yeah. is something I hadn't I thought, thought about. And then we have two photos with leather, with jacket. leather jackets. Andy Brown said to me, you don't want to look like a drum school grab. It's weird, but just a jacket and a necklace and some earrings just makes, makes you it, look for sure. less, not polished, but less, yeah. I'm out of drum school, for hire sure. me. I would say you probably have to do research what works well for your body, skin type as well. And I personally like wearing stuff like white and stuff like that because I do think it brings like my tan out. And I uh, like wearing white because it makes me look pale. So yeah, exactly. And as much as in life I don't want to be pale, my casting is pale white ginger, so I needed to give that. We did go on a tangent, sorry, bobbles, yeah. hairspray, all, makeup, lipstick, brings it every, like, everything you every possibly Every top you own. Think but, about underwear as well. I know yeah. that sounds silly, but try on all your tops like at home with underwear, lines, you don't want lines. lines and stuff like that. Yeah. Biggest thing is hair. You need to think about this. If you just change your hairstyle, you want to change your hairstyle, this is going to be your headshot for a year or more and if you want to do something drastically yeah, like different to your before. hair do it before because this is going to be your representation you don't want to be that person they see your headshot and they come in and you're like completely different bold and regarding makeup they always say and i do think even though you're like i look so much better with a lot of makeup no natural is just the best way to go try not to have this. big eyelashes and like also too much you're bronzer. looking to be an actor actress where you're, you're not mean, looking to be a model so it's like that's what andy said to me which i thought was quite interesting yeah. he was like you don't want to look too perfect and too yeah. amazing because actors want to be real people and exactly. that's what they're looking for. And also you're kind of a blank canvas like when they're yeah. making a show they want to be like okay can we sculpt her into something. Right should we go through our headshots just so that you guys can kind of see what yeah. we've spoken about yeah. and it might just make it a little bit easier. Should I go through mine? Yeah. This first one is very much classic musical theatre. Wouldn't you say that is my like yeah. 100% MT, here I am, yeah, I'm a drama school grad. Sure. Next one is actually in this top I'm wearing, which is from Zara. This is my kind of preppy teen, this was on my bring it on announcement. This one is kind of a bit different. It's my it? favourite though. Not like really? my top favourite, but I really pushed for her to get this one, yeah. even though a lot of people didn't want this, but I think it looks so nice. This one is a bit more edgy, it's a bit more towards the Sam Black. Yeah. Yeah. vibes and I think it looks a bit more commercial and a mm -hmm. bit more contemporary this is my I can be in battle of hell if you need me to be <laughs> photo so I really really like this one I did actually have a really smiley one in my leather jacket yeah. which I did like but it was kind of jarring the smile and the leather jacket mm -hmm. didn't really match what I was going for this one is my I can be in a Shakespeare play if you want me to too. it's a bit more period vibes I actually didn't choose this one this is the one that Andy chose and he just thought it was very good for film and TV it was quite like mysterious and then this last one is my personal favorite People say this photo shows my personality. I never thought photo could show my personality, but I feel like this one kind of does. 
Okay, so my first one, I was definitely going for Hi, please hire me as Eliza Skylar because I want to be in <laughs> Hamilton Definitely my more innocent MT look yeah. It wasn't my favorite photo, but when he edited it Obviously the edits aren't that different, but I was just like, wow And then this one I definitely think is your TV yeah. film Do you want me to be a cop? It's just one of those things where I feel like you could trust this girl to be yeah, a TV yeah. show I agree <laughs> This is my, please, I really, really, really want to be in Miss Saigon <laughs> um, Look, and I, I honestly, I think this is I my favorite photo yeah. You don't see many photos like this and I always like being different and then this is my last one which is my acting serious one yeah. and I really enjoy this because I feel like it gives this maturity about it whereas the first one gave that innocent look so I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and it has been helpful if it has please do smash a big thumbs up to let us know also if you have any questions pop them down below in the comments we will try and answer them to the best of our abilities don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos and we'll hope to see you very very soon thanks for watching bye, bye.